sure you've heard about Pebble by now, and if you haven't, then Mariam Joie is here to tell you all about it as the product evangelist of Pebble. And thanks for being with us here, Mariam. Thanks, John. All right, tell me about this thing on your wrist now. What I mean, you talk about a great overnight success story <laughs> yes. uh, and a tremendous success. Pebble certainly personifies that. Yeah, so Pebble, just think of Pebble as a watch that just happens to be able to, con to con connect it to your phone. So that opens up a whole bunch of options, right? Instantly now you can have your text messages displayed on your phone or your email displayed or on, your, on watch. your phone. Yeah, right. Right? From the phone to the watch, right. exactly. So you don't have to pull out your phone anymore. Now you have a kind of a connection to your, to your phone on the watch and that opens up a whole bunch of things. And that's kind of the appeal. There's a bunch of things you can do out of the box, like you can remote control the music on your phone from the watch. Uh, you have these different watch faces uh, that, that basically let you choose you know, a different aesthetic. Right. Uh, but that's kind of like the, the very tip of the iceberg because this has sensors and, and, and you, you know, can gather information and relay it to the phone. So now you can do things like a pedometer, for example. Um, and all of this hinges on apps on the watch. So those watch faces you saw me select between are actually just apps. Mm -hmm. And they can have more functionality than just display the time. They can display something just like there. I just got a notification sent by my boss, in fact. Um, and I'm so, sure they're saying, you're doing a great job, keep it up. Exactly, right, that's right. instantly real time. <laughs> so uh, the, the point is that um, you can now have an entire two-way communication between the watch and the phone and enhance what a watch normally does. A watch normally tells the time, this will tell the time if you don't connect it, just like any watch. It gives right. you a choice of, uh, an, uh, of a look for the watch face. But beyond that, you can now have data sent back to the, to the phone or data from the phone sent so, to you. So you're saying email, text, yeah. uh, even a pedometer function. And, and I'll what, show you another one What's here. the range yeah, of, uh, of activity it's, that we can measure from this? It's pretty broad. Like right here, I have one that shows the weather, the current weather and temperature, okay. and the location I'm in. And it knows this from connecting to the phone, right. obviously. It uh, also tells me the battery life on my phone, which is kind of useful. You know, phones today, some of them don't last that long if you're really a heavy user like you and I who are constantly on the go. Um, so it's nice to keep track of that. Um, so I think the, the key here is that there's been a bunch of products like this done before, but we wanted to make it really simple and easy to use. So it's always on. You see, I don't have to do anything to be able to read the time. So if I'm driving, I can just go like this and I see the time. All right? Uh, and that's the idea, a watch has always been like that. We didn't want to remove from the watch experience, we wanted to add to the watch experience. And, and so what's the, what's the next iteration of the wish list? And so, as you're looking at it, say, boy, next so, time so around, this is where we want to go. So, so exactly, so currently, we were selling on the idea of like, it's a companion and add-on to your watch, like a Bluetooth headset would be, right? Uh, but to get that, that ecosystem of app started, we really heavily market this to developers and hackers. And we've, you know, we've been present at hackathons. You know, we're a startup, so we're in the valley. So it's all about interacting with other communities and trying to get this off the ground. And you know, we were very successful. The Kickstarter campaign was very successful. We raised 10 million. It's the most successful Kickstarter of all time. From then on, got VC capital. But now the watch is not just sold on our website. And it's also sold at Best Buy, at AT&T stores. So it's now a consumer product. And as a consumer product, it brings all these new challenges to the table, right? So for example, right now, all these watch faces you saw, there's a few of them that come with the, the app that we sell for the phone, that we don't sell, it's free, but that comes with a watch for the phone. Um, you can get more by visiting certain websites right now that are basically curating watch faces and apps for Pebble. So the next step for us is to have our own app store, obviously, you know, and then we can like work with developers for them to monetize their ideas. Um, and we also have partnerships with very, uh, very well-known companies, for example, Runkeeper, uh, the application, uh, it, it, it syncs with Pebble, so you know you can do you can do your exercise, and the Pebble talks to Runkeeper and keep track of things that way. Right. So that's just some of the stuff that can be done. Well, it's a tremendous device, a great success. Like you said, shot for a hundred thou, got ten million. <laughs> Missed the mark well, in a very positive yeah, way, we, and uh, we're looking forward to. We screwed uh, this one up two. royally, clearly, right? <laughs> All right, good. Thanks for the time. Thank you so much, appreciate John. Appreciate it. Nice talking to you. You bet.